This is Vincent from EV Europe. This time I'm going to show you how to connect our BMS system to Tesla battery modules. First I want to explain you um, what we do to use the Tesla batteries safely. What you see here is the original PCB from Tesla. Um, this does not communicate without the rest of the Tesla so that is why we replace it with our own PCB board. This PCB board communicates with our standard BMS system um, and it can communicate between the batteries uh, with a single wire. So you will only need one wire um, to communicate between the Tesla batteries. So you will have a lot less wiring than you normally have. Um, if you look at the PCB, at the back you will see the original connectors that connect to the Tesla wiring and the Tesla temperature sensor. Um, there are two versions so um, we need to know which batteries you are using or if we supply them we of course uh, will already arrange that you get the right ones. Um, here you have one 5 pin connector block um, and I will explain you the exact connections when I'm going to connect it at the sample Tesla battery stack. First thing I would like to explain that if you look at the Tesla battery stack it is very important to understand that the communication will go from the down to the up which means it, the communication will go from the high voltage minus to the high voltage plus of your battery system. Um, so that means that the down of your communication will start at the minus and you will end with the up of the communication wire. Um, what we will do, um, we will use a CAN group module uh, that works similar uh, to the centralized CAN group module which we showed in the previous video um, but this time it's going to communicate with a one wire uh, signal um, to these modules that are mounted to the Tesla batteries. So at the CAN group module you have one wire that has or you have one cable that has two wires and you have one cable with three wires. The one with two wires is the down of the communication and the three wire cable is the up of the communication. So like I've explained before we start with the down and we connect that to our PCB board. The down wire has to be connected to pin 4 and 5 like we show in our diagram. It's a bit tricky to get the wires in sometimes um, but it's important that you push the stripped cable in gently and then push the small button at the connector at the same time. So you once you've installed it you check it also check if the both wires are connected properly because you can imagine what will happen if you start driving your car and one of the wires comes out. <laughs> so now comes the easy bit. We go with one wire, that's pin number two, which is the up connection of the down Tesla module and we go to the fourth pin of the middle battery. So you see from 
up till down and then the next single wire goes from up in connection number two to the down on the top which is connection number four um, that leaves us with the up connection of the CAN group module which is three wires and the red has to be connected to pin number connection number one the green to the second one and the black one to number three this is always a bit tricky to get in but goes well make sure you push the buttons when you are pushing in the wire the stripped wire uh, and then check if they are all connected properly because you don't want this to come out if you're driving with your car the first time um, just check one more time if you're not sure um, so now we have completely connected the communication line uh, to summarize one more time um, the down side is a two wire cable it goes to pin number four and five of the high voltage minus battery then you have a single wire that goes from up pin two to pin four of the second module and um, the next wire it's exactly the same so from pin two to pin four so to the down of the communication and then you have the three wire cable which is the up of your communication and that goes to the can group module again um, and the can group module all the data of the batteries so the voltages um, and also the temperatures um, are gathered together and then being transferred to the canvas um, also good to mention here is that the canvas is a really stable way of communication um, much more stable than the single wire communication so we recommend that if you have a battery pack with modules more than 30 centimeters away from each other uh, we recommend that you make a new CAN group of it so never use a single wire CAN communication with a long distance um, so now we're going to connect the CAN group module to the BMS system this works in exactly the same way as with the CCGM modules we described in an earlier episode um, what's quite nice to notice is that now we have done this you can see the green LEDs blinking that means that the communication is being sent to the next module um, so what you see right now is all PCBs are blinking which means the communication is okay uh, and the complete line of communication is good um, so for example if you only see the first PCB blinking that means you have a connection mistake or other problem um, between the first and the second battery module um, what a often mistake is that there is no high voltage connection in our test setup here we have completely made the co high voltage connection of the complete pack um, so if you disconnect this cable now there will not be any communication between the first and the second Tesla module so be aware of that um, in the next so right now I'm gonna show you um, how you set up the software um, but I only show you the part um, of the CAN group module because the rest you've already seen in the BMS movie we made before in part 5 of our instruction videos we already showed you how to set up the BMS system so this time we will only show you the 
specific settings you need to do for the Tesla batteries. First, I will set up the CAN group system. Remember, you go to configuration and then to the CAN devices. You mark the discover legacy device mark and then you push the discover devices button. Then you click on OK on this message and then the system will start searching the CAN devices in your CAN group. In our test setup, we only used one CGM module, so it should find only one. As you see, it's now shown up in the unconfigured devices and then you can slide it to your string number zero. Because this is a very simple setup, you will only have one string. Um, now you can scroll down and you can push on the button Commit Configuration. You can click on OK uh, and then you can scroll up again and it should show the correct CAN device with, in this example, 18 cells shown up. So now this CAN group module is configured correctly. There's something else I'd like to show you about the Tesla batteries. So we go to status and then to cells. And here you will see the 18 battery cell voltages of the Tesla battery, which are very nicely balanced as you see right now. But if you look at the temperatures, that might look a bit strange because you have a single temperature reading at each cell number one, two, three, four and a double temperature reading at each cell number five and six, so also at 11 and 12. That's because each Tesla battery module has an external temperature sensor, which is placed at the B minus and the B plus of each module. And this temperature sensor is shown at each cell number five and number six. These temperature sensors are very accurate so if you have a difference in your normal internal temperature sensors, you can calibrate this temperature to the external temperature, which is shown at cell 5, 6, 11, 12, at. I will also show you how to do this. You will go to configuration and then to the general tab. And here you press the button calibrate cell temperatures. Here you fill in the temperatures of the external temperature sensors of the Tesla. So in this case, 14 degrees, and then you press OK. So, and after this, you can check it again at the status and the cell step. And here you will see all the temperatures are shown very accurately in the same temperature range. So I hope this was helpful for you. This was it for this time. In the next episode, we will explain you all about the Tesla battery module cooling system.